Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Society, the Art and Science of Watch Collection. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Quorum watches. And the they have four different lines or models, but within each one of the models they have a lot of variation. So bear with me on this one. All right. The first one uh, that I happen to like the most is called the uh, Quorum Admiral. And the, the Admiral line of watches they have a, a fairly long, wide range of capabilities, but uh, this is sort of the one I like. It's a very simple one. It's called the uh, Corm Admiral 42, 42 referring to the the width of the watch. This one has a caliber CO395, which is an ETA 2895 base movement. Now, in going through, you'll, you'll see <clears throat> you need an interpreter for this. In the movements, you have the uh, 82, which is a, a Soprod 10, you have the 293 and 295, both of which are Frederick Begay 1160s. The uh, 390, to me, is a very interesting one, the Eterna Caliber uh, 3903A, the 395 that the at this particular Admiral is, and of uh, the 984, both ETAs. Uh, the 95 is the 2895, and the 84 is the 2894-2. Uh, this particular one is uh, about $3,900, a little under $4,000. You can find these uh, for sale new on places like um, Touch of Modern, uh, all kinds of places for much reduced prices in the thousand in the 1000 uh, level so interesting watch so might want to take a look at that now this one the heritage quorum lab one is an open work has this open work movement that you can see from the front and the back and it's barrel shape uh if you the movement is also a shape movement for this particular um this particular dial now or this particular case, I should say, the dial and the case both. They have something called the uh, CO410, and they refer to it as proprietary. Uh, my hunch is is that they had uh, have some kind of arrangement with Vaucher to actually make the movement for them. Uh, the reason I say that, one of their other movements, a uh, very sophisticated, wonderful movement, is also uh, built with them. So they only have two model shifts. There's not a lot to what they call the heritage line. Now, one of the <laughs> the most versatile lines is the uh, what's called the bubble. Now, the bubble, or at least some of them, have the uh, CO082, which has the Soprod A10, which runs on the Soprod A10. Now, here's these are three models here that give you an idea of the range that they have under this the bubble. Uh, the bubble 47 Central Turbillon is a Turbillon. The uh, bubble 42 Juliet uh, Jourdain, she's a 26-year-old designer. She does interesting stuff, so they thought, well, this might be a good idea. And then the big bubble Magical 42 has this moon from um, this old silent movie uh, from Earth to the Moon, Ju Jules Verne's uh, uh, work. Lots of different bubbles, very unusual, uh, something for everybody or something for nobody. Take a look at them. Uh, and the same thing with the prices, they're all over the map too on the, uh, on the bubble. Now, this last one is really an amazingly beautiful uh, watch, in my opinion. It's called the Golden Bridge Round 43 Art Deco. And um, they have what they call a Quorum uh, CO113 caliber hand wound. Now, I, I just, the way they have the, uh, the wheel chain uh, lined up right down the middle, you can look at it. Uh, they have the uh, the dial, uh, not the dial, but the crown at six o'clock, and so you wind it up from the bottom, and uh, it's a hand wound watch. It's just, it's just to me, it's really a, an amazing watch, uh, gorgeous looking. You can turn around and you can really see the works in that in a way that not a lot of other watches afford. 
So uh, there's some prices. I like uh, Quorum has everything that you could want. At the, at sort of the lower end, you'll find a lot of good buys on the Admiral and on the Bubble. Uh, the Golden Bridge, though, uh, that's sort of an interesting rare bird that they made. Anyway, I'd like to hear your opinion of Quorum watches. And if you have one, I'd like to hear uh, what, you ha what you have to say about it. If you'd like to subscribe, this is an invitation to do so. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection. <music>